Hello everyone, and welcome to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's review is going to be on the 2017 William Byron Homestead Championship car. Uh, before we get into the diecast, I would just like to say that um, the um, the Dylan Hardy and Talladega race version is uh, is still up on eBay. If you'd like to purchase it, I don't like plugging my own stuff, but I'm trying to get rid of it. So. If any of y'all would like it, or y'all could make an offer, and I might accept it if it's reasonable. It's already $10 off the retail price, so it's already a pretty good deal. But if it's a reasonable deal, I will probably accept it. And uh, I I was uh, watching my older videos to see how I can make them better. And for some reason, all of my videos are like terrible, terrible quality, even though I'm shooting at... 1080p at 60 frames a second. I did not know why that was happening, so I um I tried exporting it through iMovie, and it fixed the problem. You might have noticed on the Daytona 500 um review that the quality was a lot better. So now I will be exporting it through iMovie instead of doing it straight from the camera roll, cause the quality sucked. I'm not gonna lie, it was crap. But uh. I will fix it. the problem is fixed and you will no longer have any more terrible looking video. But after, but now that I've rambled on, we're going to get on to the review. First, let's get on to the box and the contents of the box. Get your William Byron stat card for the 2017 season. Pause it right there if you'd like to read it. And then the back is just a description of the race. Again, pause it if you'd like to read it. Let's go into the box. It's not your typical raced win box. Well, I mean, I guess that is because he didn't win the race. I guess that's why, but whatever. Got your William Byron box. And you got your um, render of the car, not like the prototype of the car, not the render. And I'm not going to lie, I do like the render, I mean the prototype of the car more than the render. Because the prototype looks a lot better. And I love it when the box come with these things because it's really satisfying to just take them like this and break them. It's really satisfying to just break them. I don't know why. But uh, yeah, so here's your box Homestead Miami, Standard Finish, William Byron, Junior Motorsports, number nine. There were a total of 1,249 of these, Standard Finish. William Byron, Junior Motorsports, 17, and Silver Series. Let's go into the car. This is a great, great car. Oh, what is, oh my god. Oh, great. The car wiggles when it rolls. Oh my god, Lionel. Really? God. <sighs> Just gonna ignore that. Just gonna ignore that. Okay, let's go on to the, 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 the 360 of the car. Okay, now let's get on to the damage. You got some dirt on the splitter. The red splitter for the Xfinity playoffs. Got some dirt on the hood. And this is an autographed version. They all came autographed. My god, look at that gap between the tire and the body. Good lord, why? And it's like, it's not even screwed in all the way. Like it just... Oh my god, that's ridiculous. Whatever. Got dirt stuff. The roof, nothing on it, but the um, the roof cam on the back, pretty much nothing. My din is 157. This is where it's really good. Now I have to give props to Lionel for this, because usually when there's a big scrape down the side, it's super pixelated. But this time. It is not pixelated whatsoever. I will give them props where it's due. 
that is a great looking scrape the um, tires even chewed up a little bit this side looks great like if I if I had a display case which I don't I just have that if I had a display case I would display it this side instead of this side so yeah th they did a fantastic job on this side I will give them props where it's due and then over on the on the fender you got more scrapes yep not pixelated at all it looks fantastic got the pretty good detail on the tire I really got this just because William Byron was my favorite um, Xfinity driver last year. I have his Indy win, his Darlington throwback, this one, the Homestead, and his Phoenix was supposed to come in today. I don't know why it didn't. It was out for delivery today. I guess the delivery guy forgot it. Or maybe it's waiting right outside my door when I get done with this review. And if that's the case, the review will be up tomorrow. I'm kind of hoping that's what happened. Sometimes packages slip underneath stuff. And you can't always see it. And then there's your bottom. Let's get on the the opening feature. Cut feature. There's your engine detail. Just a plastic block. Not anything special. I wish what they would do is like on the trucks, how nothing opens on it, but it sits very very well. I wish they would just get rid of the opening hood in the engine and focus on it sitting right like my god what is that Look how far that is off the ground that doesn't even look right I mean like you like listen to that it's like it's not even screwed in all the way that's ridiculous whatever let's get on sponsors we got Liberty University on the hood got our contingencies this is my favorite thing, the Junior Nation Appreciation Tour thing right there. A little sticker. I didn't even know he ran that on the real car. What is that? Let's see here. If it wants to focus. Come on, focus. Oh, I can't read what that says off the camera. What, what is that? I have no clue what that is. It's so small you can barely read it. Looks like a father and a son. I don't know. Uh, if you know what that is, uh, put it in the comments, please. You got Brandit, Liberty University, Exalta. You got Liberty University with the rookie stripes, Armor 150 years. And you got the same thing on this side. It wants to focus. My camera does not like to focus. And that is about it for this car. Um, I just want to say something that I've been wanting to get off my chest. William Byron deserved to be in the playoffs way more than Jimmy Johnson. I'm just going to say that. I love Jimmy Johnson. He is a seven-time seven champion, but his season this year was crap. I don't know how he got into the playoffs. William Byron was a lot more consistent than him, in my opinion. I think he should have gotten in the playoffs. I felt really bad for him when he didn't. I, th I thought he was in the playoffs, and then the playoff standings come out, and he wasn't in the playoffs, and I was just shocked. I'm like, how was he not in the playoffs? But yeah, I, I think he deserved to be in the playoffs way more than Jimmy. I think he had a way more consistent season. Like, he didn't... he Some races, he wouldn't get as high as Jimmy, but on the races where Jimmy was crap, William Byron was in his normal 15th, 20th, 10th place. He, he, he had a way more consistent season. But uh, if you think otherwise, leave it in the comments. I'd like to hear y'all's opinion. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, this has been a review of the 2017 William Byron Homestead Championship car. Thank you for watching.